Hey there, Adam Ladolce here, founder of Sexy Confidence, and now the author of a brand new book called Love Texting, Secret Texts That Make Any Man Crave You. And that book can be found at lovetexting.com. And in that book, I'm gonna teach you how this little device right here can pretty much transform any boring dud into a passionately loving stud overnight, literally using your two thumbs right here. Now the love texting launch has been going incredibly well. It's so exciting. I mean, emails and comments have been pouring in from women who grabbed the book, used the text, implemented the strategies, and seen immediate results in their love life. Now this is the third video of this series. So if you haven't checked out the other videos, you can see them right here. You'll be able to see them up top. We'll leave some links to them. Because I, first off, I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna keep those up. So you gotta make sure you watch them in its entirety and pay very, very close attention to them. Now this community of women never ceases to amaze me. It's so exciting when I create these things and have these types of launches. You know, women are taking action in their love lives that they never even anticipated. They had no idea that they were even making any mistakes in this area of their lives. And then they take the action, they take the advice, and they see that immediate results. And if you're one of those women, I applaud you for taking that action. Now as you know, love texting is how you can keep a man interested and invested in the relationship. And that's exactly why I do what I do. I want you to feel confident knowing that every single text that you send has the right strategy and the right meaning behind it. Now you know from the videos that I've already released so far, you know the three texting strategies that you can send to a man. And you also know the seven biggest texting mistakes that a lot of women are making out there. Now in this video right now, I wanna address another core question that I get from women all the time about texting guys, which is when should you actually text a guy and when should you not text a guy? Now in the Love Texting Guidebook, I dive deep into dozens of scenarios of what it is that you should do, when you should do it, and how you should do it when it comes to texting. But here are a few examples that I know are gonna help you immediately. These are some of the biggest questions about timing and texts. If I give a guy my number, should I text him first? Honestly, not really. The thing about texting and meeting guys for the first time is, you know what? If you go ahead and send him that text before he texts you, then all you're doing is you're investing in him before he's had a chance to invest in you. Allow a man to make those investments. Allow him to throw out that text to a girl and wonder, is she ever gonna respond, right? Men are natural pursuers, and men subconsciously, we really do, whether we'll admit it or not, we want that feeling of wondering, like, is she ever gonna respond? Is she gonna get back to me? And then we feel rewarded when we do finally get that response. Now, of course, common sense will always prevail. So if, for example, like if he doesn't have your number, then of course you should text him first. But in most scenarios, if you give a guy your number, then don't text him first. Wait for him to text you. What should I do if he doesn't respond to my text? Just wait, wait. Patience is so key when it comes to texting. I know it can be really hard, but you have no idea what's going on in that guy's life. I mean, maybe he's busy at work. Maybe he's on vacation. Maybe he's rollerblading. Who knows? He could be doing a ton of different things. You don't know. And the easiest way to turn off a guy, especially a guy who's really confident, successful in his life, doing a lot of things, which is probably what you want, the easiest way to turn him off is by over texting him. So don't double text him, don't double down. So now you're probably wondering, well, Adam, what do I do, right? I sent this text and I never heard back. Well, there's a few different scenarios. The first one is if he never texts you back again, he never responds, but you know you're gonna be seeing him again soon, maybe you're gonna see him at school, or maybe see him at work, wherever, then definitely wait. And then when you do see him in real life, it's so important to bring that personality, bring that excitement, bring that charm, so that you can reinvigorate the relationship. However, if you know that you will never see him again and you've, you sent out a text, then what I want you to do is wait a week and then you go ahead and send him one of the bait texts that I share with you in the Love Texting ebook and that can reinvigor the relationship. I talk about that in the first video of the series and I also, of course, go into detail on that at lovetexting.com. But whatever you do, do not go for the back-to-back same-day text. He saw it, he read it, he just hasn't had a chance to respond or unfortunately, he may never respond. What if he texts me late at night? Don't respond that night. Let him wake up hungover, freaking out that he might not ever hear from you again because he's a total idiot, he got too drunk, and he sent you a text. So the next morning, you know, of course, don't respond that night. The next day, the next morning, send him this text. Hey, drunkie, rough night? It's playful, but it also sets your standards for the type of girl you are. I mean, don't apologize, don't say, oh, I'm so sorry I wasn't up to respond, nothing like that, right? You're the type of woman who doesn't take that crap, right? You don't stand for that. So by sending this type of response, it's not too strong, it's not too, uh, too pushy, but at the same time, it does set your boundaries for the type of woman that you are. 
finally, as a bonus, as part of this video, I wanna just throw in two times when specifically, I don't want you to ever text a guy ever again. The first one is when you're upset. Love texting is all about eliciting positive emotions, not negative emotions. And the best part of texting is that you choose when it takes place. If you're mad, if you're upset about something, whether it has to do with him or anything else, go for a run, go to yoga, meditate, do whatever you need to do to change your state of mind and then come back to the drawing board. And the second time to never text a guy is when you're wasted. Listen, I get it. You go out with your friends, you're having a good time. Of course, you want to text your, your, either your boyfriend or a guy you've recently met when you're drunk. But if you are really drunk or really, really wasted, then it's probably not a very good idea. It's going to come off the wrong way. You're going to text him something that you really didn't mean. And if you want to come off as a nice girlfriend material, which you definitely do if, that's, if you're in a relationship or just recently met a guy, then it's really important not to text a guy when you're in that, that type of state of mind. Position yourself the right way, and that's going to avoid these types of situ these awkward scenarios the next morning when you wake up and read what it is that you sent him. Ash wants you to know you're sexy. Well, now he knows how you feel, but will he feel the same way? Probably not. So let me ask you, have you ever over-texted a guy at the wrong time? Leave a comment right there below, maybe share a story or share a time when you did it and highly regret it. And also, we're gonna be raising the price soon for the Love Texting eBook, so you wanna make sure you get it right now before the price goes up or be before we take it off the market. So you wanna make sure you grab it, that's at lovetexting.com. It's gonna walk you through so many different scenarios beyond this of when to text a guy, when not to text a guy, specific examples of what it is that you can text him in any of these different situations that you get yourself into. It's designed for women who are, of course, single, and of course, it's designed for women who are in long-term relationships, and it's gonna help you elicit those incredible, positive emotions that you want to elicit in a man. Go to lovetexting.com and check it out. I'll see you there.